Good evening and welcome to PTV broadcast. My name is Margaret Wamboi. And my name is Navinya Keo. And of course, today is on Thursday, the 18th of July. Yeah, the 18th of July. And our stories that are making our headlines tonight is that in Migori County, there is a major project that is the completion of potato processing, which will be completed by next year on April. And also another story. And I can also see the build the Building Bridges, Bridges Initiative by President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga is bringing another project in another county. Yeah, true. To our top stories tonight. So the national government, the county government of Migori and the European Union have joined hands to ensure the completion of the potato processing plant by April next year. Speaking on behalf of the cabinet secretary of devolution, a senior ministry official said that this is one of the major projects that the government is so keen to release with a big agenda in 2018-2019. Our very own Wendy Atieno opens our bulletin with that story. In a state-based seat of potato processing plant in Getunganya area of Korea East, the national government, county government of Migori and the European Union have joined hands to ensure the completion of the plant by April next year. Speaking on behalf of the Cabinet Secretary of Devolution, Elizabeth Auma, a senior ministry official said that this is one of the major projects that the government is so keen about to realize the four big agenda and pleaded with the farmers to embrace it as it is a sure way to boost the economy of the Korea community. Government to Mesimama. Simon Moja Nasimona Matunda Moja. However, cooperation, your national government and county government. Ni kwamba ugatuzi ulete maendeleo mashinani. Factory hii mlivoelezewa na MCA wenu ni kusaidia wakulima ambao ni nyenye. Na alivyouliza uh, MCA tunataka wakumuelezea kama national government changamoto yake tumeichukua. Tumechukua challenge ile ya kusema tutafute mbinu ya ku expand ya kuongezea hiyo factory ndio asije akawa mkulima mmoja atafika pale akaambiwa hatuwezi kuchukua viazi sivyo haya kama national government wacha tuseme tutaangalia tufanye kazi na county tufanye kazi na ma MCA tutafute mbinu za kuongeza eh, maendeleo katika nchi eh, katika county ya Migori. Cabinet Secretary in Agriculture Migori County Valentine Ogongo said that as a county government they will be so keen on wastage of the commodity and it will ensure the farmers are assisted all the way to improve their farming skills. The production of sweet potato is very dear to us as a county government of Migori. And for that we've linked many programs into sweet potato processing plant and or sweet potato value chain. We have uh, the program called NARI, which is also sponsored by the World Bank. Sweet potato is one of the value chains. Honorable Bibi, we are going to see which in which the money can also assist this factory. We also have the SDSP. The SDSP, sweet potato, is also a value chain. We will not allow this thing to go idle. We will try also to pump some money to see how we can promote. Wendy Atieno, PTV. Thank you very much, Wendy Atieno, for that report. And to another story in West Pokot is that the West Pokot County Dialogue Conference Group has called on the Building Bridges Initiative to push for an inclusive government to avert political polarization witnessed in the county. The group consisting of the religious leaders, the elders, the disabled women and youth leaders raised concerns over the Building Bridges Initiative through the handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM leader Laira Odinga, which was tasked to spread across the nation, which was tasked to spread peace across the nation. Kwa kuwa haya mambu, ayikupangwa na sarekale sababu huko kwa ukora minge mbae inafajwa. Ni watu ya madini wenye unawagopo mungu, ndiyo waliimisa sarekale, paka sarekale ikaitika, 
ikatafuta paka watu akina Yusuf wana wanaweza kutoa taarifa kusaidia serikali namna ya kupatikana amani <laughs> nini nataka kufahamisha nyinyi kitu moja ambaye ni muhimu Uh, you see that is a major move that sure. w- that was initiated through By the handshake yeah, yeah yeah and let's cross over to another story for the first time the number of international tourists who visited the county the country sorry hit the 2 million mark in the last financial year according to the latest data there are projections that the number would rise further this year with the ministry of tourism indicating that already over 900,000 tourists have visited the country ahead of the high season. Currently, Africa only accounts for about 4.5% of the, the total arrivals at about 70 million. And we're hoping that to grow this number. Uh, the African Union has set very ambitious targets um, uh, by 2023, 2063, and so forth. So we're hoping that uh, Kenya, uh, for example, uh, should be able to increase its tourist numbers. Uh, the marketing strategy we're working with the East African community is that we're targeting from 5.8 million visitors for the whole of the East African community to about uh, 35 million by 2024. And this is based on intra-regional travel. Like we need to encourage East Africans to travel within the, uh, within the African continent. And we have seen that this cannot, can be done, for example, if you have a tourism set account, you're able to, to, to know your markets, to know where they're coming from, to know how much they're spending. Uh, we'll be having our first break and we'll be back after that. That's commercial. Shabiki Jackpot Mbao ya kupa fursa ya kushinda shilingi milioni shirini kila wiki. Cheza sasa. Mpesa 20 bob kwa nambari 290063, account number SJM Hash Auto. Kwa walio na miaka kumina nane na jupeke, sheria na masharti kutumika. Shabiki Jackpot Mbao ni zamu yako. Win a chance to meet football legend Rio Ferdinand. Tax code to 22110 plus over 50 million shillings in prizes to be won. Welcome back and remember that this is PT. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, welcome back and remember that this is PTV broadcast. They, we bring you stories that happens to you directly. To another story. Parents of 67 students from Kiaguri Secondary School who perished in a fierce inferno in 2001 blamed their former leaders for the manipulating the money meant for the compensation. The parents blamed the embattled chairperson of the plan to downplay them after the planned compensation bore no fruits. Miri Murethi has the report. Parents of 67 students from Kianguli Secondary School who perished in a fierce inferno in 2001 blamed their former leaders for manipulating the money meant for compensation. The parents blamed the embattled chairperson of a plan to downplay them after the planned compensation bore fruits. The angry parents were addressing the press in Mulu Moticia Garden in Machakos town. To the Akuchia person Hilary Kitata, they said their hopes of getting their compensation are being turned on by a section of their former leadership. Akisafiri kutoka Machakos, mpaka Nairobi, mpaka mwaka wa 1216 ambapo kesi iliamuliwa na wazazi wa kalibu wa fidia. They urge the compensating agency to begin not to fall prey of con persons who may lure them to compensate the wrong recipients. Jenny Teki, who is a victim, has called on the government to fast track the process to help them get their, their dues and ensure they deal with their current leadership. Millicent Moredi, PTV. Thank you very much for that report. And to another story is that police in Nairobi have arrested a nurse in a case of Irigo pseudo pregnancy detected at Pumwani Matano Hospital. Sheila Odiabo has more reports. Police in Nairobi have arrested a nurse in another case of illegal pseudo pregnancy detected at Pumwani Maternity Hospital. Sheila Odiabo Aloch is said to have been buried and attempted to steal Phoebe Sachang's newborn baby. The mother of the baby is also said to be put under police custody for possible charges of conspiracy to sell her own newborn baby. 
Abiambo is a nurse by profession who lives in Feather Estate in Embakasi while a chance lives in Mkuru Wajanga slums and survives by doing manual jobs. The two are friends, but Abiambo told doctors at the hospital that they are sisters. Kwa sister ya msae. Asa msae si alienda nyumbani ya kisha patanga accident. Haka sema anaenda kutibiwa nyumbani ya nerudi. Asa akuru. Akurudi. Sama mini ya lenye nilikuwa nayo. Nilisema. Wacha msae. Nikisa asa. Mbebe nimpeleke mtoto wapi. Kwao. Asa hiyo kumpeleke. She then took a chain to Pumwani Hospital where the baby was due, registered her under her own name and left. A chain delivered a 2 kg baby through a C-section. But nurses at the hospital suspected something was amiss when a chain did not respond to the name Sheila Adhiambo a lot when she was called several times. Leonard Okoko, a doctor, said they noticed this when a chain's husband came to ask for his wife who was admitted at ward 4 bed 8. Kimetendeka leo kuna mama ambaye alikuwa ametafuta street family chokora akamwada akamwambia kwamba akijifungua badala ya kutupa mtoto yeye ako ready kununua huyo mtoto aenda akalee Sada Talamu reporting for PTV I'm sorry for the, for that miss inconvenience that was a report from Sarah Tramoy and don't worry to to error is human okay and uh, oh, that report from sarah tramoy takes us to a second short commercial break sure. we'll be back shortly with other stories stay with us the testiest blue band now comes with omega-3 and 6. the testiest blue band now comes with omega-3 and 6. So important for kids' growth and development. You can tell them from your then home. Give your kids the omega-3 and 6 they need. Welcome back. To our last story, a man whose leg was beaten by a hyena has been amputated at Machakos Level 5 Hospital after being referred from Kangundo Level 4. The 34-year-old was beaten by a hyena at around 5 a.m. on Tuesday this week. Charles Kosgei has more details on this. A 34-year-old Nicholas Maing from Kieleni location in Kianzafi, Matungulu sub-county in Machakos was allegedly beaten by a wild animal, a yina, at around 5 a.m. on the 16th July this year. He was taken to the elder facility around 3 p.m. on the same day and was later transferred from Kangundo level 4 to Machakos level 5 where he was receiving medication. Up to date, Hussein Hassan, a medics at the facility, said that he was receiving the patient from Gangundo and straight away he was taken to theater for amputation and treatment of the second leg. My name is Hussein Hassan, I'm a clinical officer. So basically, this uh, patient was a referral from Gangundo, the local hospital. When he was brought, he was brought, you know. With traumatic, you know, right, uh, low, 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 right lower limb, you know, amputation, and uh, and the left, you know, uh, lower limb at the same time, you know, with deep lacerations. So, he was taken to urgent you know, theater for surgical uh, um, uh, amputation, above uh, knee amputation, and then uh, the left uh, lower limb at the same time has been done a surgical debridement. So, uh, so, so far, patient is responding. He's on, you know, treatment. Antibiotics and you know antirabies. According to Justice Muindi Musioka, a brother to the victim, from a family of six children, his brother was rescued at the dawn from angry yenas who attacked him, leaving him with a serious injuries. Ambaye tulipata ripoti kuwa ame ameumizwa na mnyama ambaye anaitwa fisi asubuhi kwa mukia jana saa kumi na moja asubuhi. Ripoti ilikuja uh, wakati nilikuwa kazi, mali ambapo ninafanya kazi. Tulipoenda alipata matibabu ya usaidizi wa kwanza katika hospitali ya kikuyoni dispensary, ambapo alikuwa referred to kangundo. Kangundo wakasema 
awa uh, arifaiwa machakos level 5 mali ambapo alikuja akasaidiwa na sasa anaendelea vizuri he said that the theater he said that there has been a prolonged human wildlife conflict in the area where ayinos from Kilimambogo game reserve have been moving out of the park marauding in the villages posing a lot of danger to the villagers Charles Kosgei PTV a chance to meet football legend Rio Ferdinand. Text go to 22110 plus over 50 million shillings in prizes to be won. Uh, with that story from Charles Cosgay, it marks the end of our bulletin tonight. And on behalf of those who have made the bulletin a success, I would like to say Asante Sana. Till we meet next time, same praise. My name is Margaret Omboy. Have a very good night. And my name is Navinya Kyo Kwaheri.